Daily Readings for January 3rd, Sexagesima Sunday, the Station of St. Paul, Outside the Walls. Distrusting our own powers, we should always have perfect confidence in God's grace, which will be sufficient for us if we humbly ask for it. May then the seed of God's Word, contained in the Scriptures or sown by the teaching Church, find a right and good heart in us to receive it, that we may bear much fruit in patience. From Psalms 43 Arise, why sleepest thou, O Lord? Arise, and cast us not off to the end. Why turnest thou thy face away, and forgettest our trouble? Our belly has cleaved to the earth. Arise, O Lord, help us and deliver us. We have heard, O God, with our ears. Our fathers have declared to us. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O God, who seest that we do not trust in anything that we ourselves can do, mercifully grant that by the protection of the teacher of the Gentiles, we may be defended against all adversities, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 11. Brethren, you gladly put up with fools because you are wise yourselves, for you suffer it if a man enslaves you, if a man devours you, if a man takes from you, if a man is arrogant, if a man slaps your face. I speak to my own shame, as though we had been weak, but wherein any man is bold. I am speaking foolishly, I also am bold. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they offspring of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I, to speak as a fool, and more, in many more labors, in prisons more frequently, in lashes above measure, often exposed to death. From the Jews, five times I received forty lashes less one. Thrice I was scourged, once I was stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I was adrift on the sea, in journeyings often, in perils from flood, in perils from robbers, in perils from my own nation, in perils from the Gentiles, in perils in the sea, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils from false brethren, in labor and hardships, in many sleepless nights, in hunger and thirst, in fasting often, in cold and nakedness. Besides those outer things, there is my daily pressing anxiety, the care of all the churches. Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is made to stumble, and am not inflamed? If I must boast, I will boast of the things that concern my weakness. The God and Father of the Lord Jesus, who is blessed forevermore, knows that I do not lie. In Damascus, the governor under King Aretas was guarding the city of the Damascenes in order to arrest me, but I was lowered in a basket through a window in the wall and escaped his hands. If I must boast, it is not indeed expedient to do so, but I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a man in Christ who fourteen years ago, whether in body I do not know or out of body I do not know, God knows, such a one was caught up to the third heaven. And I know such a man, whether in body or out of body, I do not know, God knows, that he was caught up into paradise, and heard secret words that man may not repeat. Of such a man I will boast, but of myself I will glory in nothing save in my infirmities. For if I do wish to boast, I shall not be foolish, if I shall be speaking the truth. But I forbear, lest any man should reckon me beyond what he sees in me or hears from me, and lest the greatness of the revelations should puff me up. There was given me a thorn for the flesh, a messenger of Satan, to buffet me. Concerning this I thrice besought the Lord, that it might leave me. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for strength is made perfect in weakness. Gladly, therefore, I will glory in my infirmities, that the strength of Christ may dwell in me. Thanks be to God. From Psalms, chapter 82. Let the Gentiles know that God is thy name. Thou alone art the most high over all the earth. O God, make them like a wheel, and as stubble before the wind. From Psalms chapter 59 Thou hast moved the earth, O Lord, and hast troubled it. Heal thou the breaches thereof, for it has been moved, that they may flee from before the bow, that thine elect may be delivered. A reading from the Gospel of Luke chapter 8 at that time, when a very great crowd was gathering together and men from every town were resorting to Jesus, he said in a parable, 
the sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside, and was trodden underfoot, and the birds of the air ate it up. And other seed fell upon rock, and as soon as it had sprung up, it withered away, because it had no moisture. And other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up from it and choked it. And other seed fell under good ground, and sprang up and yielded fruit a hundredfold. As he said these things, he cried out, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. But the disciples then began to ask him what this parable meant. He said to them, To you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but to the rest in parables, that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. Now the parable is this, The seed is the word of God, and those by the wayside are they who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their heart, that they may not believe and be saved. Now those upon the rock are they who, when they have heard, received the word with joy, and these have no root, but believe for a while, and in time of temptation fall away. And that which fell among the thorns, these are they who have heard, and as they go their way, are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not ripen. But that upon the good ground, these are they who, with a right and good heart, have heard the word, hold it fast, and bear fruit in patience. Praise be to thee, O Lord Jesus Christ.